we all know cars lose value the second you drive off the lot. We've heard that for years. But this year, your used car could be worth more. That means a higher tax bill, and a county official wants to stop it. But not everyone hopes she succeeds. Lindsay Shively is live at Liberty with more. Linz. Hey, good morning, guys. This is the letter that the county assessor here in Clay County sent to residents asking them to call their lawmakers, help them change state law so they can start using Kelly Blue Book instead of the National Automobile Dealership Association to value used cars in the county just like this one. Now, Kathy Reinhardt, the assessor, uh, says that the letter she sent out is because the NADA is actually raising the value of used cars. The county has already sent out notices to thousands of people that their used car is worth significantly more this year. The assessor says changing to Kelly Blue Book would lower your tax bill, which would mean less tax money for already strapped schools like the Liberty School District. If it gets to the point where it's going to be voted on and people haven't considered the consequences of, uh, of this, it sounds great. Anytime you can lower taxes, that sounds great. But the unintended consequences are higher class sizes or continued freezes on teacher salaries. I just don't think the public can take anymore. They're, they're, you can see it. You can feel it. They, they're, they're agitated. They're unhappy. They're stressed. They, they can't take anymore. They can't. They're not an endless source of revenue. So yeah, I mean, something has to be done. The Liberty School District, like so many school districts across the state, get about 85 percent of their funding and budget from personal property taxes. So how much of a difference is this really going to make switching to Kelly Blue Book? This 2009 Ford Focus is worth $1,000 less in trade and value on Kelly Blue Book than the current system that the state is mandated to use. You multiply that difference by the thousands of vehicles that people own and pay revenue and tax in onto the county. That means a lot of money saved for taxpayers and could cost the school district hundreds of thousands of dollars. For now, we're live in Liberty. Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today.